Zero Season 3's release date is October 2024, and this new trailer was absolutely insane. But here's everything White Fox has told us so far. Season 3 takes place exactly one year after Subaru freed the Sanctuary, defeated Elsa, formed a contract with Beatrice, and sent those stupid rabbits to the fucking Shadow Realm. Since then, Amelia's camp united in preparation for the royal selection, until they received a letter from Anastasia inviting them to attend a meeting at the Watergate city of Pristella. There, Subaru reunites with some old friends and some adversaries as well. But an unprecedented crisis looms beneath the surface of the water and the boy will once again suffer a terrible fate. Judging by how good this trailer was, I think this might be the best season ReZero's ever had. There's a lot of scary looking villains here, but personally, I'm not stressing about shit. We have Reinhardt. This man is literally in creative mode, but the fact that he's getting involved means this is probably pretty serious. This trailer had a lot of hidden details I want to talk about though, and there's even been a bit of drama too. As you can see, Amelia's character character has really grown since season 2. I mean, we all expected her to get some development this season, but I didn't know they meant that kind. Otto can even see them from all the way back here. So before I do a breakdown of this trailer, I need to address the breakdown that Twitter users are having over Amelia's most recent buff in the patch notes. People are actually saying that they ruined Amelia by giving her a chest upgrade. But if a change in her physical appearance was enough to ruin her character for you, then you probably didn't care about her that much to begin with. In my opinion, the only thing that got ruined by Amelia's new cup size was the pair of pants I was wearing when I saw her. An easy way to tell that a ReZero trailer is good is when your only complaint about it is that they made Amelia hotter. I haven't seen someone grasping for straws like this since the Wrath If, so I don't know who needs to hear this, but guys, there's a lot more to ReZero than Amelia's boobs. Big, small, who cares? It doesn't matter. Personally, I wouldn't give a shit if Amelia had a penis. Perhaps I might even suck it. Also, real quickly, I just found out that they made a Minerva figure, so I'm gonna need you guys to watch this ad about solo leveling. This video is sponsored by Web Novel. If you like ReZero, then you probably like solo leveling too. Solo leveling was arguably the best anime of the winter season, but I bet you didn't know that the source material is even better, and personally, I don't feel like waiting five years for the anime to finally get another season. So luckily, Web Novel lets you start reading it right now. You can either start from the beginning or right where the anime left off, which I believe is chapter 55 in the novel and chapter 45 in the comic. Web novel has both. But in case you haven't heard of solo leveling, the world is under attack by monsters, and hunters are people with magic abilities who fight them. The main character, Sung Jin Woo, was the weakest hunter alive until one day the system grants him the ability to level up as if life was a video game. He's now the only person who can do this, so he gradually becomes stronger and his rise to power is just extremely satisfying to follow. Download the web novel app for free and search for solo leveling or any other novel comic or webtoon you're interested in. You can even interact with the web novel community while you're reading. So click the link in this video's description right now to join me on the web novel app. Thank you again to web novel for sponsoring this video. Alright boys, it's time to analyze this trailer from the beginning, frame by frame. Every arc of ReZero begins with Subaru spinning Beatrice around, laughing and having fun, and then after that it's just pain and death and suffering for 24 episodes straight. Remember that at the end of season 2, Betty became contracted to Subaru as his personal spirit. Just like how Amelia had Puck, Subaru now has Beatrice. Rem appears to be cosplaying Jake Paul after one round with Mike Tyson. There's no official English translation for this trailer, but luckily I'm fluent in Google Translate, so the text here just basically reveals the name of the new location. Priestella, the Watergate City. If we pull up the map of ReZero, we've got Lagunica here, the Sanctuary, and Roswell's old mansion that we burned down. He should actually have another mansion around here somewhere, but the city of Priestella is supposed to be right in the center of the world. This map kinda sucks though, because that's not what it looks 
looks like. There's supposed to be a giant lake here with the city in the middle of it, but oh well. Fun fact, the ReZero world is canonically flat. I promise I'm not lying. The water you see here on the edges of the map is just an endless waterfall that flows down into the void. Anyway, we've got a brand new character right here. He's got the same hair color as Julius, who, by the way, looks a bit more feminine than I remember. Or maybe I've just gotten gayer since the last time I saw him. No, no, I can feel it, guys. I'm getting even gayer now. Is it just me, or is this the best these characters have ever looked? Shout out to whichever White Fox employee has been polishing Al's helmet this season. Ezo's not even part of the story, but they put him in the trailer. Felt cute might delete later. This trailer pretty much confirms that Garfield finds his mom. We saw what she looked like last season when he took the trials, and this woman in the trailer is basically identical. Honestly, I don't know why they showed us this. It was a pretty big reveal in the novel, but it didn't really add much to the trailer. Garf also had the bright idea to attack Reinhardt. That's a bold strategy. Let's see how it pays off for him. Wilhelm is back too, and oh man. It's been years since I read Arc 5, but now it's all coming back to me and I'm just so excited. You might recognize this guy as well. He's one of the alley thugs who tried to rob Subaru in the very first episode of ReZero. For some reason, he's back, and Subaru is way stronger than him now, so I thought it was funny how he's not even scared this time and he's just hugging the dude instead. This is another new character, and I don't want to spoil her name for you, so I'll just make one up. Um. Let's call her... Liliana. Liliana used to get a lot of hate from the ReZero community, but then the people that hated on her started getting their own haters who hated them for hating her. And you guys should join the ReZero community. It's a lot of fun. Liliana's outfit has been censored though. She was like 90% naked in the novel, and the anime brought it down to about 70%. So let me know which side of the Twitter war I should support here. On one hand, I'm almost always against any form of censorship whatsoever, but at the same time, I feel like her new design makes a bit more sense. Pandora was totally naked except for a transparent piece of cloth, and Daphne was literally always tied up and strapped to a bed. But they were witches, so it made sense for their designs to be kind of wild. Liliana, however, is just a normal fucking person. So I don't really care about her censorship in this case, because her design was kind of dumb in the first place. But she isn't the only one that got censored. And the censorship of this character? I definitely disagree with. However, it's really not that big of a deal, guys. I totally understand disagreeing with the changes, but if you're one of the people that attacked ReZero's character designer over this to the point that they had to private their Twitter account, please unsubscribe from me because I don't fucking like you. Anyway, the trailer doesn't show much of this new villain girl, but she looks pretty mean and she's got some big balls attached to her butt. So far, that's about all the information we have on her. The other new villain got a lot more screen time though, and we can even start theorizing about her. Yes, she's a girl. She's no Amelia, but she's certainly a girl. She fights Amelia with some type of magic here, but it looks a lot different from all the other magic we've seen previously in ReZero. And Amelia is also using something new, which is a fucking ice sword. Subaru tries to fight the same opponent without an ice sword, and he ends up getting choked by her spiky golden chains. And his eyes are red for some reason, which could either be a new ability he unlocks, or a negative effect from this enemy he's fighting. Either way, it looks fucking badass. He's also carrying a whip here, which could either be for punishing Beatrice when she misbehaves, or most likely just kinky time with Amelia. Either way, there's gonna be a lot of chains and whips in Season 3, but Reinhardt isn't into that sort of thing. I can't really tell where the chains even come from. She kinda just pulls them out of nowhere like Rem did with her chains, but I noticed that the golden collar she's wearing matches the chains, which might be relevant somehow. I don't know. We also see her crying while holding this unknown character, and honestly, I don't know of any characters with that specific hair color. It looks a bit too dark to be Petra's, but if they can change Amelia's boobs, I'm sure they can change Petra's hair too. Maybe it's that guy from Genshin who can switch his weapon. Or what if Al took his helmet off and he just looks like a completely normal dude? Anyway, this character is seriously a mystery. Why is she wrapped up in bandages? Or maybe that's toilet paper. Maybe that's how they should have censored Liliana. Jokes 
aside for the novel reader's pointy ears. That's all I'm gonna say about that. The Archbishop of Gluttony is back, and he probably isn't fasting for Ramadan. Regulus returns as well, and oh my god, what's he holding? Let's play that back in slow motion. Yep. That's Amelia. Regulus must have found out about her new buff. It's super interesting that he's here though, because other than Pandora, Reinhardt, and Satella, he's probably the strongest character we've encountered thus far. Right before the trailer ends, we see this badass looking sword with some pretty smooth animation. I bet that'll be straight fire. And the final scene of the trailer shows Subaru and Beatrice using another new spell. They create what looks like a portal, and after they jump through it, they've got some purple effects over their bodies. Any Anyway, that's about it. I'm gonna rank this trailer a 10 out of 10. Absolutely amazing job by White Fox. ReZero Season 3 looks incredibly promising. I gotta go take a shit, so I'll see you guys later, but make sure you subscribe so you don't miss my next video. And follow me on Twitter too. For some reason, I've been really active on there recently. Anyway, keep talking about ReZero. Peace out.